All right, my loves, let's see what we have here for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Aries, please. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, what do my Aries need to know today, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits, and Guides, what do my Aries need to know today, please, Spirit? So we have the Justice card in the reverse, Libra energy, and we have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. We have the Three of Swords and the Devil, Capricorn energy. We've got the Seven of Wands and the Two of Swords, Aries energy. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries, please. Okay. Oh, man, Aries, wow. All right, let's see here. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, Energy, and we have the Three of Pentacles. We have the Moon card in the reverse, and we have the Four of Wands in the reverse. We've got the Page of Wands in the upright, Leo, Sag, Aries, and the Page of Cups in the reverse. Under the deck, we have the Four of Swords. Aries. Aries. <laughs> what is happening here? So, guys, um, in the recent past... Or coming into the, ref the near future. You know how energy is. We can't ever pin it down. Okay. But in the recent past here. I'm seeing that somebody decided to cut something off. Like someone here said. Nope. I'm not telling you nothing about my life. I'm not telling you anything. I'm pushing you away. With the Queen of Pentacles. And the Three of Pentacles. I feel like there's this energy of. I can do it all by myself. I don't need you in my life. I don't need to tell you nothing. I don't need to hear nothing. Just stay in your lane. Like you know what I'm saying. Someone here is like I'm good. I got this. I can do it all by myself. Okay. The problem here is. Is that someone here saying that they can do it all by themselves, all right, um, I feel caused tremendous heartache to another person, okay? I feel like what's happening here is, Aries, you may have tried to help somebody or someone here tried to help you, okay? And I feel like someone, the person that was trying to come in and help, whether that was you or your person, ended up getting their heart broken. Okay? Now, the truth is going to come out here. The truth is going to come out here that someone is, in fact, non-committal. Someone here is not committed to this connection. So, for instance, for instance, let's just say Aries your person needs help with something and you're like hey listen you know i'll help you i'm here for you i'm your man i'm your woman i'll help you right and i feel like this person that needs the help is like listen i don't need your help i don't need this i don't need that you know the reason why someone is acting so independent here aries is because they are in fact non-committal this person doesn't want stability. This person is chained to some form of toxic addi addiction that you don't know about, okay? Um, it could be, it could be, Aries, that you're dealing with someone that is either still in love with someone else or that is still has some form of chain somewhere else. Do you understand? Like someone here doesn't want to move forward with getting married or moving in or someone here doesn't want to move and move towards a new beginning anywhere because they're still chained to something else. And the truth of that is coming out. So Aries, either your person is starting to see it if you're the one chained to something or someone or you're starting to see it. Now, 
This could be like, let's just say, for instance, someone has a drug habit. Let's just say someone has a drinking habit, right? And they're fallen, they've fallen on hard times, but their person doesn't know. So let's just say, Aries, you are their person. You don't know that this person has a drug habit. You don't know that this person has a drinking ha habit, okay? And you're like, listen, let me help you. You could come stay with me. You could come do this. And this person's like, no, don't get too close. The reason why this person acts that way is because they have some form of addiction here. It could be the fact that, you know, they are on drugs, that they drink, that they gamble, that they're still in love with somebody because the devil card is the lover's card. Okay. The devil card is the lover's card, but it's the lover's card term toxic. It's the lover's card when we give in to that snake energy that's on the lover's card. Okay. And I feel like, you know, there may be someone else in this person's life or this person's chained to something toxic. And because of this, with the four of wands in the reverse, they are in fact unstable. They are, un in fact, unstable, okay? With the Hierophant here and the Justice card, I feel like the Divine is not done with this person. Someone here has karma that needs to be paid. And the, the okay, so Aries, let's just say you're dealing with this person that's tied to this toxic situation. You can't get it. There's nothing that you're going to do to help the situation because this is on the Divine. There is karmic justice at play. So you are dealing with someone who isn't necessarily a karmic to you Aries or you are not a karmic to them they are just paying karmic debt right now so you're dealing with someone who's going through a very hard time and what spirit is doing is quite possibly moving you out of the picture because uh, all right let me tell you the vision that I'm getting for those of you who are parents you'll understand okay Let's just say you're a parent, you got two kids. One of the kids are is punished. You got them facing in the corner. Don't do, put your head down. Don't look at anybody. Don't talk to anybody. You're going to sit in that corner for 15 minutes. And here comes the younger brother offering the child a, a potato chip and offering them some juice, right? This, and you tell the second child, stop giving him stuff because he's in time out right now or she's in time out right now, okay? Stop. Do not go near them because they're in timeout right now. They have to learn their lesson. So Aries, so, someone here is coming in trying to help somebody that the divine is trying to teach them a lesson. You understand what I'm saying? So I don't know if that's you, Aries, okay? You may be in this energy of being chained to something toxic. I don't know, an addiction, in a toxic relationship with someone from the past. I don't know. But the truth is coming out here. And so, someone's starting to see the true, the true situation here. So Aries, either the divine is teaching you a lesson right now and the person that wanted to help you is being cut out of the picture because... This is not the time for you to be receiving help. You need to learn this lesson or vice versa. Aries, there may be someone that you really want to help that's in trouble and it's not your place. It's just not your place. You know what I'm saying? We've got the hierophant here, the priest, the father saying, D -d 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 -d, get, go, go on now. They, they have to learn their lesson. You go shoot, go do something else and let, you know, this person learn their lesson, whether that's you, Aries, or the other person with uh, the justice card in the reverse. Someone here is in karmic debt. They're in karmic debt with the page of wands and the page of cups. Unfortunately, there's nothing that it, you see. It's kind of funny that I said this, but remember when I said two children, one person's in timeout. They're not supposed to be talking. And, you know, so even if you go in to talk to this person, there's going to be no someone here may not answer back someone here. Or if they come and talk to you, someone's not going to respond with the four of swords under the deck. And the Knight of Cups, yeah, so, you know, Aries, you may be trying to communicate with somebody and you're not going to get a response. Or Aries, someone may be trying to communicate with you and you're not going to get a response. Why? Because there's karmic debt that has to be paid here. So someone's going through a hard time, but they need to go through it alone. Because this is a lesson that they need to learn on their own. On their own, Okay. Um, I'm feeling that with the Queen of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles, there's someone here who's maybe financially stable or someone here that has their shit together and is saying, listen, 
you know, if you need a place to stay, I'll help you. Or listen, if you need this, I'll help you. You know, I got my shit together. I don't mind helping you, right? But the divine is like, no, 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 no. You need to go take all your pentacles and all your responsible self over there because this person needs to learn on their own. I'm still working on this person. It's not ready yet. I'll call you when I take it out of the oven. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Tell me about the seven of wands. Yeah, we've got the four of wands. Okay, someone here doesn't want stability. They don't want stability. They don't want commitment. Tell me about the two of swords. Tell me about the two of swords. Page of wands. Leo Sagittarius energy. They, they don't want to talk. They don't want to tell problems. They don't want to talk about anything. Tell me about the queen of pentacles. The queen of pentacles. Tell me about the queen of pentacles. We've got the star card in the reverse. You can't fix this, Aries whatever i don't know if it's you that's going through this hard time or your person but someone here is like listen i'm the queen of pentacles i could fix everything and anything you're wrong no spirit is telling you look the other way you can't fix this this is my job you can't heal this this is my job to heal tell me about the three of pentacles and the hanged man wait you know maybe this will come back together you know what i'm saying i don't know but you know you, there's a sense that this may come back together at a later date aries it may okay uh but for right now spirit is saying listen you you gotta go Someone here's got to go because this person right here, uh, their their ass is mine for a little bit. They they have karmic debt that they have to pay. Tell me about the three of swords and the six of pentacles. Tell me about the moon card in the reverse and the queen of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. So what I'm feeling here is this queen of pentacles has perhaps been giving a lot of money to somebody. This queen of pentacles has been doing whatever they can to help, even if they're getting nothing back, okay? But this queen of pentacles is starting to see the truth, that someone here is very toxic, that someone here is non-committal. So for instance, you're giving this person, let's say, a bunch of money thinking that it's helping them and they're using it for drugs. You're giving this person a bunch of money thinking it's helping them and they're using it for gambling. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're not, whatever you're giving to this person, it's not leading to stability for them. It's not because there's this devil standing in the way. And that's what the divine is saying. I am the only person, the hierophant trumps the devil. Do you understand what I'm saying? So the Hierophant is saying, listen, this is my battle. I'm going to whoop this devil's butt. There's no amount of money or kisses or apple pies in the world that you're going to make here that are going to, it's going to trump this devil. This is my job. You need to remove yourself because I need to fix this situation. Do you understand? So tell me about the devil card, please. We've got the Ace of Wands. So someone here... Someone here maybe um, has a sex addiction. Someone here maybe, uh, you know, why do I, why am I getting the word relapsed? Someone here may have started talking to someone new and now the addiction has started over again. Someone here may have a sex addiction with one night stand spirit. Can you give me one more on devil and ace of wands? Yeah, five of swords. This person likes to sabotage connections to go off and have new beginnings, maybe one night stands. You're dealing with someone here that self-sabotages, relapses, comes back, relapses, comes back. Tell me about the four of wands in the reverse. The magician, Virgo, Gemini energy. This is someone who's here one day, gone the next, and this is the puppet master. This is someone who will come in making you believe all types of stories. So like, you know what I'm saying? All types of stories just to get money from you, just to get whatever they need from you, telling you that, listen, if you just give me this, if you just give me like that, I could get on my feet. And with the four of pentacles here, Spirit is saying, hang on to your money, hang on to whatever you're giving to this person because it's not going to fix the problem. Now, for some of you, this may even be a parent. This may even be a parent who has a child that has addictions and, and you know, the parent is just giving, 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 not really understanding that they are um, enabling their child to go out. And, you know, you may be dealing with a parent here that says, listen, let me just give them the $20 because I don't want them breaking into a store or robbing a car or robbing some old lady's purse. Let me just give them the $20 so they could go do whatever they got to do. And Spirit is saying, no, 
Stop it. Stop giving them the $20. Let your son go and break into that store and I'm going to put them in jail where they have no access to, you know what I'm saying, where they will get clean. Because only the divine knows what, what plans they have, you know what I'm saying? So... Who knows what the story here is? There, there could be so many storylines. The point is, is that someone's being pushed away because the divine needs to handle this. Tell me about the Hierophant. Yeah, Six of Swords. Six of Swords and the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. The divine is saying, I'm going to need you to get in your car and move away and get away from this person. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Trust me. And the divine is saying, trust me, it's the right thing. Get in your car and go go do your thing let me handle this justice card in the reverse and the moon card in the reverse again cancer piscean energy um whoever this person is that is trying to help the other person they're going to get these downloads and the realization of this is not my problem not my circus not my monkeys i can't help this person anymore there's nothing for me to say or do so someone here is gaining a sense of enlightenment they're seeing the truth for what it is they're seeing that they're being played they're seeing like this is someone who has a problem for every solution right so if you're like, listen, if you have problems with your landlord and you can't pay your rent, just move in with me. And this person's like, no, I can't do that. Just help me with the $2,000 that I'm backed up with for rent. They don't really need rent money. They need to go get high or they need to go do this or they're using it for something toxic. Do you understand? And you're starting to realize that you offer this person solutions that could actually solve their problems and they're not taking those solutions. They're mad at, they're manipulating you into thinking that, you know, that $2,000 or that $200 will really solve all their problems. And you're like, well, okay, here's the $200 and no problems get solved you understand? because they're not using it for the right thing. We've got the King of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Spirit is saying, listen, I know you love this person and I know you mean well, and I know you mean well, but you're a king of cups. You're a queen of pentacles. And this person is still at page level. Okay. I need to handle this page of cups in the reverse and the five of cups. I feel like, um, I feel like even though you feel bad, even though there's a sense of guilt or remorse because you really did want to help this person or, you know, this person wanted to help you, I don't know. Someone here is not going to accept an apology. So what's happening here pretty much is someone's being divinely guided to leave a situation alone, okay? The divine is removing either you, Aries, or your person's life out of your life because the Hierophant needs to trump the devil here. Do you understand? We've got, we've got, you know, your angels, we've got the divine God spirit that needs to whoop this devil's butt. This is not your fight, Aries. This is not the fight of, of, you know what I'm saying? This is this queen of pentacles energy, this person who thinks that they could come in and just fix it all. You're only human. And this is not your fight. This is a, a fight on a 5D level that needs to be taken care of. Now, it may come together afterwards with the hanged man. It may. It may not. I don't know. Tell me about Aries, please. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. So, Aries, this is coming apart, but it's not coming apart because of your traditional 3D reasons. It's coming apart because someone here has is going through a spiritual battle and 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 that that needs to be that's on a whole nother plane. That's not something that you, me or anybody on this plane can can handle. This is a spiritual battle that this person's going through. Okay? All right, guys. I love you and take care. Bye.